welcome as we continue to explore the Hebrew letters on the path of the seeker. Today's letter is Pe. The numerical value of Pe is 80. Pe is directly related to speech. The symbol itself resembles an open mouth with a tooth. Same shape as the Hebrew letter Yud. Yud is associated with change. The rest of the letter is in the same shape as the Hebrew letter Kaf, which is associated with intention. Edward Hoffman suggests that we meditate on pay so that we can speak both effectively with others and inspirationally. Pay is a double letter, so it delivers two messages. The positive aspect is that we should use speech to help other people. Also, it represents that silence is valuable. Pay begins the Hebrew words for hole or opening and doorway. This means that how we speak can literally open doorways for us in our life experience. Pe also starts the title of a Jewish text that teaches how an individual should behave on a daily basis called the Ethics of Fathers. The sages say the text is the starting point for inner transformation. The text offers advice and guidance on communication. Pe is part of the word Peshat, meaning the literal meaning, which is derived from the word Peshut, meaning simple. Peshut consists of the same letters as Tepesh, which means childish or superficial. When the Jewish elders were ordered to translate the Hebrew Torah into another language, it had to be done so literally and simple and childish. That's because the Hebrew language is complex. The complexity of the Hebrew language allows people to have a personal perception and interpretation of the Torah. This makes reading the Torah a meditative practice in and of itself. That's why they say that the Torah has 70 facets or faces also, it's important to note that at one point there were 70 scholars that actually determined what was in alignment with the Torah law and what was not. Another important term associated with Pei is the Euro traditional known as Tamand, which is also associated with the Torah. Daniela says that the Tamand is the female aspect of God's word, while the Torah, the written book, is the male aspect. In order to understand the Torah, a person must understand the Tamand. When the Torah is read without the wisdom of the Talmud, it lacks perspective. Whenever the Catholic Church attacked the Jews, they burned the Talmud in an attempt to repress the feminine aspect of the teaching. Well, it's that time again where you're going to get out your journals. You can click on the link in the description box below that will take you to my blog. There you'll find an embedded sound meditation and a beautiful depiction of the Hebrew letter Pe. As you listen to the sound meditation, study this beautiful letter. When the sound meditation is over, write down any thought or impressions that you have regarding this letter. I think all of us can appreciate the wisdom of this Hebrew letter and the importance of speech. On the path of the seeker, the power of speech comes up a lot because your inner and outer dialogue has a direct effect on the quality of life you create. Our time together is at an end. Thank you, brave soul, for joining me on these adventures. Have a wonderful day.